Italy's massive supervolcano eruption could have global climate impacts. A volcanic area west of Naples, Italy, known as the Flegrine Fields, is showing early signs of a new caldera cycle for one of the world's most threatening supervolcanoes, according to new research. Scientists fear that the volcano is potentially reawakening, according to a new study published in Science Advances. The largest known eruption from the Felgrine Fields, also known as Campi Flegre, occurred 200,000 years ago, darkening skies across Europe with volcanic ash. The eruption of Campi Flegre, which means burning fields, in Italian, caused significant changes in global climate. According to a 2010 study published in Current Anthropology, Campi Flegre's massive eruption likely played a role in the extinction of the Neanderthals amid the volcanic winter that followed. Additionally, the volcano has shown signs of unrest in recent history since the 1950s. Three major periods of unrest characterized by shallow seismicity and increased hydrothermal degassing have been recorded since the 1950s, raising concerns about a potential resurgence, the study said. Located in one of the most densely populated areas on Earth, Campi Flegre is an active and relentless volcano that has produced two major caldera forming eruptions and numerous smaller eruption events over the past 60,000 years, the study said. The study focused primarily on the long-term evolution of volcanic activity in the region, while previous studies have focused on specific periods of activity or single eruption events. The authors used textural information such as rock, mineral and glass samples from nearly two dozen eruptions at Camp Flegre. Caldera-forming magmatic systems often follow iterative evolutionary trajectories, or caldera cycles, that are accompanied by important changes in the composition and physical properties of the erupted magmas, as well as the frequency, spatial distribution and size of volcanic eruptions, the authors reported. The team's research uncovers the potential for a new caldera cycle, which could mean a period of magma formation, subsequent eruptions and eventual collapse of the caldera, the report said. Following the Monte Nuovo eruption, the Campi Flegre caldera has entered a new, quiet, phase accompanied by several episodes of ground deformation, the authors said. While it is not known when the next eruption will occur or how large it will be, another large-scale event could not only devastate densely populated areas near the caldera but also cause a volcanic winter and global climate change as large amounts of ash enter the atmosphere. Home to more than 1.5 million people, the Campi Flegre caldera is one of the most hazardous areas on Earth, and its magmatic history has been the focus of numerous studies, the study said. AccuWeather senior meteorologist Jim Andrews said a major volcanic eruption could have a devastating impact on the global climate if it were severe enough. Researchers widely believe that when a major volcanic eruption ejects ash and gas into the stratosphere, sunlight is reflected back before it reaches the deep layers of the atmosphere, Andrews said. Effectively, you lose heat energy, and if it's strong enough and it spreads clouds around the equator, you lose a lot of solar energy. The more powerful the volcanic eruption, the more devastating it is, Andrews said. The higher the sulfur dioxide content, the better, and the closer to the equator, the better, he said. That puts the cloud right in the climate wheelhouse, where the rubber meets the road. Tambora was the site of the largest volcanic eruption in 10,000 years and caused the cold year of 1816, known as the year without a summer. The unseasonably cold weather killed trees, rice and buffalo in China and Tibet while floods destroyed the remaining crops, leading to famine in the region. It also disrupted growing seasons in the northern hemisphere across Europe and North America. In the northern United States, even Thomas Jefferson's crops were affected by the severe cold that continued into the summer, 
with snow falling in Virginia in June. 